guys now we are here and i'm going to teach you how to get free two months hosting in DigitalOcean. link is in description to get this free two months hosting now we move along to step one which is going to be droplet creation in here we just immediately go for marketplace and look up the word wordpress and there's going to be two options wordpress and open lightspeed i recommend the open lightspeed because it's way faster and it's free as well and moving along we go to the options we're going to pick the five dollar because it's cheaper and you don't need more than that for the day center choose whichever is closest to your location or your customers and i'm just going to pick new york here next we need a password now set up a password whichever one you want this is so you can log in to the server As you can see, I already picked that. Now, all of this, just ignore it because we've done all the most important stuff. Now, we just need to choose a host name for this. I'm just going to pick whatever, whichever one you want. Doesn't matter. And now we just create a droplet. Okay, now in here, we are just going to wait. But in the meantime, we can do step two, which is Cloudflare setup. Now, in this setup, all we need to do is change from the Namecheap's DNS to custom DNS and add your site with Cloudflare because I recommend Cloudflare because it's way faster and much easier to set up DNS and it's free as well so that's good so it's going to review our existing DNS records and as you can see this site does not have any dns settings so we can just immediately go to this and just follow the instructions here follow remove the name servers as you can say it really depends on where your where you bought your domain and just ch replace it with the cloudflare name servers after that that's done all you need to go is dns settings and you can manage your dns settings there Perfect. Now, once it's done, step three is the SSH setup. Uh, this is actually just a step 2.5 because all you need to do is open up PowerShell and connect to the server via PowerShell using SSH settings. The command is SSH root at your IP address and all this can say yes. And then now enter the password that you entered before. I'm just going to paste it by right clicking and entering. Now, this is the page that's going to come up when you log in. Now, at this point, uh, you need to set up the DNS first. Okay, so in this site, speedsite.net, I will, I already have the DNS settings but I'm going to delete them uh, it, these records are just email records you can just ignore them all you need is basically just two records first is a and what you're gonna type is type at on the name and the IP address of the server that you created that's one and the second one would be the C name and this will be www and it would target speedsite.net just follow what I'm doing. Okay. Next thing is to check if our DNS is correct. And to do that, just open up what's my DNS and see. Now, once that's done, all you need to do is enter your domain, speedsign.net for me, and click yes. And then it's going to set up an op Let's Encrypt. I recommend you do. And once it's done, you just continue the instructions. Say yes. And another yes. So it's for HTTPS. And update the system. Now, this is going to take a while, uh, a few minutes at most. So in the meantime, as always, in the description, there's a $100 credit for two months. You can test this out yourself. It's totally free okay once that's done 
all you need to do now is open up your website. Let's look it up, speedsite.net. There you have it. Now, all you need to do is set up WordPress as normal, uh, site title, username, password, email, and... Okay, once you're done, you just log in. Let's use the description. Okay, now WordPress 6.0. Now, the great thing about Open Lightspeed is that it already has plugins installed, which is the Lightspeed cache, and this is going to help make your website way faster than a non-Lightspeed server. As always, it's in the description. Thank you for watching.